So first, I haven't gone back and watched my own talk. I've learned over the years that watching one speak on oneself speak on video is an interesting experience that I'm, I'm happy to not relive. But I have had a number of interesting discussions with colleagues. Some of uh, with some I've shared my talk with some of my local colleagues, um, typically in contexts where the idea of a journey and the idea of different paths towards science is very important. And that feedback has been strikingly positive. And one other comment, I was at the March meeting two weeks ago. This is uh, March 28th, 2022. And a colleague came up to me and said, I watched your living histories talk. And that was extraordinarily brave, your discussion of mental health issues. And this was a, co a comment that's resonated with me. That was a later addition to my talk when I wanted to start to think about the effects of nonlinearities and the parts of our stories that we don't choose to tell. And when I was constructing my talk, I realized that talking about mental health, talking about what if pathways were also essential components of my story. And so I am very glad that I added that content. It's not a question of bravery. These are issues that I think are extraordinarily important to be able to discuss more openly among our communities.